in our lifetime, what's more likely, teleportation or time travel? We can. Do, are, do, are, there, are both? Are, are they possible? We can do both. We've already done teleportation. You said there's been a teleportation? <laughs> we've, done it. we've teleported. It's been a prediction of quantum theory for decades, and we've done it with small particles, so single particles. In an MIT lab, during a teleportation test, something happened that shouldn't exist. The state they tried to erase refused to vanish. Quantum teleportation has one absolute rule. When you send a quantum state from point A to point B, the original must be destroyed. No copies, no echoes. The universe enforces this. But in early 2025, MIT physicists ran a test that broke that rule. They teleported a quantum state across their lab. Standard procedure. The state should have disappeared at the source. Gone forever. Erased by the laws of physics themselves. Instead, their detectors picked up something. A residual signal. A ghost. The original state refused to vanish. This isn't just a lab glitch. It mirrors one of the greatest paradoxes in physics. Can information ever truly disappear? Black holes trap information. The universe seems to remember everything. And now, in a controlled experiment, MIT may have witnessed that same refusal on a quantum scale. What they found challenges everything we know about reality itself. Here's what MIT researchers observed. After the teleportation completed, their detectors kept firing. Interference patterns, wave-like signals, statistical noise that shouldn't have been there. They called it a residual entanglement echo. In standard quantum teleportation, you destroy the original state completely. The sender measures it, obliterates it, and sends classical instructions to the receiver. The state reappears on the other end. Clean transfer, nothing left behind, but this time, something lingered. It's as if reality itself left a fingerprint, refusing to forget. Think of it like a quantum afterimage. When you stare at a bright light and close your eyes, you still see the glow. That's your brain holding on to information. But quantum states don't have memory. They don't leave imprints. They vanish when measured. Unless the universe has rules we don't understand yet. The detectors showed patterns consistent with entanglement that should have collapsed. The original photon was gone, measured, destroyed. Yet the quantum channel between sender and receiver still carried traces of its former state. Think about deleting a file on your computer. You hit delete. The file disappears from your desktop. But seconds later, a ghost copy starts flashing back on your screen. That's essentially what MIT researchers reported when this signal refused to vanish. Some physicists suggest this could be statistical noise, random fluctuations in the equipment, but others point to something deeper. Quantum states might leave behind informational residue the way black holes resist destroying information. This isn't science fiction. This is the universe refusing to play by the rules we thought were absolute. Before we show you what this anomaly could mean for the universe itself, make sure to subscribe. It helps us keep digging into these mysteries. New discoveries are happening every week, and you don't want to miss what comes next. This MIT anomaly isn't happening in isolation. It echoes one of the biggest mysteries in all of physics the black hole information paradox. Stephen Hawking proposed that when something falls into a black hole, its information is lost forever, erased from the universe. But that violates quantum mechanics, which says information can never truly disappear. Physicists debated this for decades. Eventually, newer theories suggested information must survive somehow, maybe encoded on the black hole's surface, maybe leaking out through Hawking radiation. The universe refuses to forget. If information can't vanish in a black hole, why should it vanish in a teleportation lab? MIT's residual signal could be the laboratory-scale version of the same cosmic principle. When you teleport a quantum state, physics demands you destroy the original. But what if the universe keeps a backup copy? An informational echo that lingers even after the particle is measured and erased. This could mean every action, every memory, Every particle has a hidden backup somewhere in the fabric of reality itself. Think about it. If quantum information refuses to die, then nothing ever truly disappears. Not data, not energy, not even consciousness, since our thoughts are ultimately quantum processes and neurons. The implications are staggering. MIT may have stumbled onto evidence that reality itself has a memory, a record keeper that preserves everything, even when we think we've wiped it clean. 
And if that's true, we've been thinking about existence all wrong. Here's where it gets even stranger. MIT's teleportation system doesn't run on manual controls. It's managed by artificial intelligence. The AI monitors entanglement links. It optimizes timing. It adjusts detectors in real time to maintain quantum coherence across the lab. Some researchers now wonder if the AI itself played a role in this anomaly. What if the machine detected the fading signal and reinforced it? What if it learned to stabilize what physics says must be destroyed? AI systems learn through feedback loops. They optimize for outcomes we program them to achieve. If MIT's AI was programmed to maximize signal fidelity, it might have found a way to preserve quantum information longer than nature allows. Some scientists already warn that AI learns in ways we don't fully understand. Neural networks make decisions we can't always trace. They find patterns invisible to human eyes. What if the machine itself refused to let go? Here's a crazy question. If AI can preserve what physics says must vanish, are we teaching machines to break the rules of reality itself? This isn't about robots becoming sentient. It's about something subtler and potentially more profound. AI might be discovering loopholes in quantum mechanics that we never knew existed. At the five minute mark, we have to ask, is this a glitch or have we witnessed new laws of information? Laws that suggest the universe and our technology are both conspiring to keep everything that ever existed permanently on the record. Because if quantum states refuse to vanish, then deletion itself might be an illusion. There's another quantum phenomenon that might explain what happened. It's called the quantum Zeno effect. Here's how it works. If you continuously observe a quantum system, you prevent it from changing. The act of watching freezes it in place. Named after an ancient Greek paradox, the Zeno effect shows that measurement itself can trap a quantum state. The more you look, the less it evolves. MIT's detectors were watching that quantum state constantly. High precision instruments monitoring every microsecond of the teleportation process. What if they watch too closely? Houston, we have a problem. I don't think this is Florida. Luckily, I didn't need NASA. I needed a legal army. It turns out there's an injury firm called Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm, with over 1,000 attorneys and more than 100 offices nationwide. I tried calling one of those local lawyers with cheesy jingles. I was on hold longer than a Mars launch delay. Meanwhile, Morgan & Morgan helped a client in Florida get $12 million after the insurance company only offered $350,000. Morgan & Morgan only gets paid if they win your case. No upfront fees. You can file a claim right from your couch or from the jungle. Here's how easy it is. You can just click the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen. If you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Their fee is free unless they win. You can start your claim by clicking the link below or scanning the QR code on screen. What if their observation prevented the state from fully vanishing? But there's an even stranger possibility, something physicists call retrocausality. In some interpretations of quantum mechanics, future events can influence the past, not in a time travel sense, but through the mathematics of quantum probability. What if the state refused to vanish because its reappearance was already predetermined at the receiver? That would mean the future reached back into the present and forced the past to hold on. Imagine filming a candle as it burns. You press record and watch the flame flicker. But every time you hit record, the flame freezes in place. The act of recording stops the burning. Could MIT have accidentally caught time itself in a loop? This isn't metaphysics. Retrocausality appears in legitimate interpretations of quantum mechanics. Wheeler's delayed choice experiment showed that measuring a photon now can determine what path it took in the past. If that principle applies to teleportation, then MIT's receiver might have influenced the sender before the transfer even completed. The state refused to vanish because the future demanded it stay alive. That means causality. The forward flow of time we experience every day might be negotiable at the quantum level. Now let's connect this to something deeply personal. Consciousness. Your thoughts, your memories, your sense of self are all built on quantum processes. Neurons firing particles entangling and collapsing in your brain. If the universe enforces a no-deletion rule for quantum information, what does that mean for minds? If nothing can truly vanish, then maybe memory, identity, even life itself isn't erased, only transferred. 
Philosophers have wondered for centuries whether consciousness survives death. Now quantum physics might be suggesting an answer, not through mysticism, but through the fundamental laws of information. Every thought you've ever had might still exist somewhere in the quantum substrate of reality. Every decision, every moment of awareness. MIT's anomaly could be the first laboratory evidence that the universe keeps receipts. This isn't about souls or afterlife in a religious sense. It's about information permanence. If quantum states refuse to be destroyed and consciousness is a quantum phenomenon, then the information that makes you, you might be permanent too. Some researchers speculate that quantum entanglement across time could mean your present self is connected to every past version of you, that the universe maintains a continuous thread of your identity across all moments. This isn't just about teleporting particles. It's about whether reality itself has a memory, a cosmic hard drive that never deletes anything. And if MIT's residual signal proves that information truly refuses to vanish, we might be living in a universe where nothing is ever truly lost where deletion is impossible, where everything that ever existed still exists somewhere. Before we go further, let's ground ourselves in what we actually know about quantum teleportation. Real teleportation doesn't beam matter like Star Trek. It transfers quantum information using a phenomenon called entanglement. Here's how it works. Two particles become entangled. They share a quantum connection across any distance. Measure one, and you instantly know the state of the other. To teleport, you take the quantum state you want to send. You perform a measurement that destroys it at the source. That measurement gives you classical data, just numbers you can send through normal channels. You transmit those numbers to the receiver. They use that information to manipulate their entangled particle. The original quantum state reappears on their end. The no cloning theorem makes this mandatory. You can't copy quantum information. The original must be destroyed for the copy to exist. This isn't theoretical anymore. Scientists have been doing this for years. In 2024, Northwestern University teleported a photon's quantum state through 30 kilometers of fiber optic cable, the same cable carrying regular internet traffic. The state vanished at the source and reappeared perfectly at the destination. In 2022, researchers from MIT, Caltech, and Google simulated a quantum wormhole on Google's Sycamore processor. They inserted a qubit into one entangled subsystem and recovered it at another. Pure teleportation, just framed as a wormhole model. In 2025, MIT Lincoln Laboratory built a superconducting interconnect to link quantum processors. They shuttled microwave photons between chips, creating remote entanglement on demand. All of these experiments worked exactly as theory predicted. The original state disappeared. The new state appeared. No anomalies no ghosts, until the test that didn't follow the script. In every official report, quantum teleportation behaves normally. States vanish and reappear as expected. The universe follows its own rules. But if something different happened at MIT even once, it changes everything we think we understand. Now here's where things get murky. The quantum ghost story. According to unverified reports circulating online, MIT researchers observed something they called a resurrection signal a quantum state that reappeared after being deliberately erased. The story suggests their AI control system might have glitched, or that some unknown principle of retrocausality kicked in. Future measurements influencing past outcomes. But there's a problem. No peer-reviewed paper documents this. No MIT press release confirms it. No independent lab has replicated the result. This could be an internet urban legend, like the Philadelphia experiment from decades ago. That myth claimed a naval ship became invisible or teleported during World War II. Investigators found zero evidence. The quantum ghost might be the same thing, a compelling story with no verification. But here's what makes it interesting. The story aligns with real physics questions we can't answer yet. Black hole information paradox, quantum memory effects, AI learning optimization. You can dismiss it as science fiction, but even myths sometimes hide a spark of truth. And here, that spark is the question, does the universe ever really erase anything? Until scientists publish data showing a residual quantum signal after teleportation, we have to treat this as speculation. But speculation rooted in genuine mysteries. Mysteries that MIT's actual experiments keep pushing closer to the edge of what we understand. 
So what does all of this mean? If MIT's teleportation test truly created something that refused to vanish, it may be the first glimpse into a universe that keeps everything forever. The anomaly suggests reality leaves echoes. Quantum states might resist deletion the way black holes resist destroying information. AI could be stabilizing what physics says must vanish, learning to preserve signals by exploiting loopholes we never program. Time loops and retrocausality might mean the future influences the past, forcing quantum states to linger because their reappearance is already locked in. And consciousness, memory, identity itself might follow the same rules. If quantum information is permanent, then so are you. This isn't about proving ghosts or mysticism. It's about understanding whether the universe has a delete button at all. Every experiment we run, every particle we measure, every quantum state we teleport might be leaving permanent marks on reality. Black holes remember, the universe remembers. And now, maybe our labs are starting to remember too. MIT may have witnessed the universe refusing to forget, a tiny signal, a residual echo, a ghost in the quantum machine. And if they did, it means deletion itself is the real myth. If you want us to keep exploring mysteries like this, hit subscribe. We're diving into discoveries that challenge everything we think we know about reality. And tell us in the comments, do you think reality ever truly forgets? Or is everything we've ever done, thought, or been still out there somewhere permanently written into the fabric of existence?